Let's take a look now and see how we create a join query that joins the company's app with the contacts. Uh, before we start, we'll just remind ourselves in here of how we define the relationship. So the application properties, and then we define this relationship called our contact, which is a one-to-many relationship between this company's app and the CRUD contact app. So remember our contact. Now let's go out to the console. Queries. I'm going to create, even though we've got one existing here, I'm going to create a new one just to run you through the steps. So uh, let's just say join query. Okay, now let's click on edit. And we're going to select the apps tab. And I've got CRUD companies and CRUD contacts. I want to select the full data for each of those. Click on next. And now we're going to define the query that joins those, uh, the join rather, that uh, joins those two tables together. Here's CRUD companies. We're going to add in, well, there's only one, one other uh, table that we specified, so it's automatically selected it. Um, we're going to have a left outer join. So we're going to join now on, and here comes uh, the CRUD contacts table first. So we're going to join based on the instance ID of the CRUD contact, equal to, and now this is the important thing, our contact. So here it's important that you use the relationship field, our contact. Don't be tempted to use the instance ID, use our contact. And once that's done, we can select the input and the output fields before finally, there you can see we've got the um, the companies, and you see Apple appears twice. That's because there are two contacts for Apple. Uh, if we go, here we are. There you can see the contacts. So that's how you do it.